AFS 2.0 Advanced Filtration System Do you want to increase your hydro processing unit runtimes by 50%? Here's how. Filtration The distillation process Once distilled, each product contains a variety of contaminants and foulants which need filtering as they will cause damage to the catalyst bed and increases in DP during hydro treating. Common contaminants and foulants are iron scales, polymers, carbon, iron sulfide, coke and silica. These contaminants can cause a variety of issues during hydro treating, loss of activity within the catalyst bed, differential pressure increases and shorter cycle lengths. The hydro treating unit is made up of several layers, including the feed, flow distributor and filtration, stopping contaminants from damaging the expensive catalyst bed and rings. Filter design. Filtration dates back to the 1950s original spherical design. In 2001, Unicat introduced their first series of AFS before innovating the recent 2022 next generation filtration design. Catalyst Protection, the 1998 Wagon Wheel. Without proper filtration, contaminants can form surface crusts and migrate their way down into the catalyst bed. Wagon wheels and rings have limited capacity to hold particulates, so a crust can form at the top of the catalyst bed, leading to rapid and severe DP formation. The presence of contaminants such as iron scales and iron sulfide fines can lead to degradation of the catalyst bed. If we remove the catalyst bed, we can see the contaminants present. Capture channels. The 1999 reticulated design versus the AFS 2001, Gen 1.0 and 2.0 designs. Larger particles get stuck in the entryways or at any narrow point along the tortuous pathways, rendering portions of the reticulated ceramic ineffective for capturing foulants. In comparison with the AFS, the particles collect within the vertical void channels, which allows access to all areas of the filter, creating more capture volume. In the reticulated disc, the particle dispersal is irregular, resulting in a low utilization of the void space. In AFS, particle dispersal is uniform, resulting in high utilization of void space. AFS 2.0 In 2022, Unicat introduced the second generation of AFS, the Active Filtration System series of filters with a new diagonal support that increases surface area. The next generation of AFS has optimized uniform flow channels creating non-restrictive flow distribution that maximizes foulant capture. These discs have been designed and optimized to mitigate pressure drop problems due to the buildup of various foulants in the grading and top catalyst layers of hydro treating and other fixed bed reactors. This design was chosen because the triangular void chambers pass directly through the interior of the filter, making it very effective in all three filtration methods. In granular filtration, the particles accumulate on the surface of the interior and exterior walls of the filter. In turbulent flow filtration, the particles are wedged in the corners of the filter and will gradually fill the entire chamber. In laminar flow filtration, the particles again accumulate along the surface of the walls of the filter. Because the interior chambers pass directly through the catalyst, the direction of the flow is minimally affected until that chamber is full. AFS are offered in three mesh patterns that filter particles ranging from 10 to 2,500 microns. The optimal method of loading AFS is the deep bed filtration method. This method is preferred for two main reasons. It progressively removes particles from large to small and it significantly increases the amount of surface contact between particle and filter. Advantages of AFS 
over 50% longer cycle length compared to reticulated grading, due to having a larger and 100% accessible void space for foulant capture and storage. It's the best option at capturing any size particulate. It easily doubles the run life of traditional grading in DP limited vessels. It is three times stronger than reticulated product. Flow test. Within the reticulated design, the channels are erratic and irregular. This inherently produces a more turbulent flow that bypasses parts of the filter. However, the channels within AFS allows the feed to travel through the filter, producing a less turbulent flow, so less of the feed bypasses the filter. The tortuous pathways in the design of the reticulated pattern disrupt the flow of the feed, leading to DP issues. With AFS, the interior chambers pass directly through the catalyst. The direction of the flow is minimally affected until that chamber is full. The drop test. On average, more than 2% of the reticulated design turns to dust when dropped from 6 feet. But on average, 0.04% of the AFS is turned to dust when dropped from 6 feet. Crush test. AFS is three times stronger on both the axial and radial vertices. AFS's high radial and axial strength are well suited for high pressure applications. AFS unique features, available in promoted and activated type for mild HDS, hydrogenation, silica removal and demetallization, high crush and physical strength provide minimal dusting and breakage during loading and unloading, three times stronger than reticulated disc. AFS advantages, 50% longer cycle length, over reticulated grading, allows foulants to get deeper into the grading, resulting in significantly longer cycles, uniform void channel dimensions, designed to maximize foulant size capture. With AFS, a 50% longer cycle length can be realized compared to competitor grading, leading to reduced cost, improved profitability, and minimized downtime. Radial temperatures are mitigated with AFS compared to other advanced grading technologies. In this application, AFS gave significantly longer cycle lengths at 800 days versus alternative technology at under 500 days. If you're interested in taking advantage of 50% longer catalyst bed life, contact us today. Our teams are ready to discuss your needs. Info at unicatcatalyst.com or unicatcatalyst.com forward slash AFS dash filter.